this is truly, I think, a surprise for a lot of people. You guys have been out there, slow and steady, just like the tortoise in the air, and you come out again. And I'm curious, what is the importance of film independent spirit awards to each of you when it comes to making films, choosing the films you want to select? Okay. People were like, I know that happens in real life, but that's not interesting to, to the, you know, to, to audiences, and that's not marketable. Uh, or I know that's real to you, but uh, is that how it's going to come across? And so, yes, there was a lot of um, resistance and a lot of conversations about how to um, how to communicate what I was trying to communicate across. I read your screenplay three times. I actually Xeroxed it, it's by my bed, I study it, because what I love best about it, I understood the characters on the page. Every single time I turned the page, I understood the people, I understood what was happening. So question, how many drafts before you got to your shooting draft? To the shooting draft? I don't think we can even count how many drafts. I mean, because I would turn in a draft, but before I would turn in that, let's say, third draft, I had written, you know, four within that, like a 2A, a 2B, a 2C, you know, and so in the end, it, it was hard to count. I mean, I, I, I just endless. Like, I, I would not be surprised if I really went into my files that there was like 60 different versions. Wow. I appreciate, sorry, I appreciated up on stage when you talked about how it just give women the freaking job. Is there anything you want to add about that or any like motivation that kind of kept you going when you were talking about trying to write in 2014? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, I think that, uh, I, I, I have to constantly have this battle in my head of, on one hand, um, why do I deserve any money for me? people who don't necessarily know me, right? There's a sense that, like, why should anybody just give me money? Why should I be entitled to that? But as an artist, you're, as a filmmaker, you also need that money to go make a film. And so I was constantly in, a, in, in battle in my head, and um, and I just, I guess I want to encourage women to to be entitled, <laughs> because men have been entitled for a long time, and, and we need your stories. And so I think that women just need to feel entitled that, um, that people also make money off of our stories. And, and also audiences want to see our stories and so I want women to um, be more entitled to getting the job and especially getting the money. Thank you. The cinematography is just like so beautiful, just love that sort of visual style, specifically the last shot of the film, not to ruin it, but uh, that shot in particular, did you have that idea in mind before making the movie, the car going away, and then also the visual legs, which was the idea? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for saying that. The cinematographer is Ana Francesa Solano. Um, she is incredible. We had a really close collaboration. And we said, you know, look, this is an independent film. We've got 24 days, which is not a lot of time at all. But we really wanted to make a cinematic film. We didn't want to just cut to close-ups and just kind of cover it the way that you might in um, traditional television sitcom or something because it is a comedy. And it was really important for us to show all of the depth of um, 
uh, the performative aspect of the family, and so we really went with these wide shots, and we uh, really told the story through blocking, and, and that's actually where a lot of the humor comes in, is through the blocking, um, because you know some some of that humor wasn't necessarily on the page, but I knew that in the way that we shot it, it was going to be funny because you would see something in the background, something in the foreground, uh, and so thank you for saying that. And yes, we always had that that last shot. That was one of the first things in my mind. Was I always said, but even it's written in the script that it's the longest shot of the entire movie is when the car is pulling away. Well, um, Alexander, real talker. The question is, while putting this movie together, it's happy. <laughs> what did you learn about your culture? Uh, what did you learn about your culture through researching this film that you didn't know and that maybe inspired you or you took away um, while? Kind of working on the film that you didn't know or weren't aware of before. Well, when I started working on the film, I didn't necessarily know that this was such a common practice. I knew a little bit from having done the radio show, people would send me some emails. But then when the film came out, everybody came up to me saying, we did this to my grandparent or my parent in every single country all over the world. Um, definitely in Asia, but also in like South America, in the Middle East. Um, and so uh, in, somebody from Egypt, uh, someone in, the, in, uh, in London said, you know, I'm British and we did this to, to my parent. And so that was definitely... 